And our first main topic today gets sent in to us from Michael Johnson, who writes, Aaron Paul recently did an interview with Vulture promoting the upcoming El Camino, and he explained why he hasn't popped up in a lot of films since Breaking Bad ended, as well as why uh, we shouldn't expect that to change in the future. What are your thoughts on this interview and why this further proves the struggles that actors who make it big on TV aren't able to launch right into films? All right. Thanks a lot for sending that in, Michael. And what Michael is talking about is, is this interview in Vulture, Aaron Paul, because look, after Breaking Bad was done, you would think if any two actors were poised to become super megastars at that point, it was probably going to be Brian Cranston. It was probably going to be Aaron Paul. Now, Brian Cranston actually had a couple of really good roles. The one where he played the uh, the screenwriter where he got the, I think he got an Academy Award nomination for that. I love Brian Cranston, by the way. I mm-hmm. love this dude. Uh, Aaron Paul, he was he came in the studio with me. He was a great guy to hang out with. He did the Need for Speed movie. Didn't do so well. He did that uh, that Noah movie. Didn't do so well. Or it was, yeah, it was a Noah movie, right? That he yeah. Did, yeah. Didn't do so well. And and he just never really cracked through. Then he did a, a Hulu original series recently. That was he did right. The Path, dude. The Path. That's the path, what it was and called. And I, I watched that show. I've heard it's good. I've heard, I never uh, watched uh, it, but I heard it's pretty good. <laughs> Look, Keir Dulé from 2001 was in it. I watched that show religiously. <laughs> I was kind of bummed to see it go. Well, anyway. I don't know if it was good, though. He did do this interview, and here's one of the excerpts from this interview. It said this. This is from Vulture. He found it hard to leverage his TV success into a film career. I was so spoiled at the height of Breaking Bad, he says. I was being offered everything. Paul landed his first leading man role in the race car drama Need for Speed and worked with Ridley Scott on the swordplay epic Exodus yeah, Gods. That, wasn't that was Noah. it. Was, no, yeah. no, it was Exodus Gods and Kings. I knew it was one of those. But neither connected with the U.S. audience. Hollywood often seemed unwilling to let any uh, to to let him be anyone other than Jesse Pinkman. And one of the things that they then point out in this article was even when they gave him a small role in um, Central Intelligence with Dwayne The Rock Johnson and Kevin Hart, they had to have his character do the bitch line, you know, just because he had to be Jesse. And he even talks, this is interesting too, he talks about how there was a big, big money, money movie that his management steered him away from that ended up being a worldwide hit he never elaborated on what that was that eventually led him to firing his management at that point and parting away with his management but it became very difficult for him to then transition into a post breaking bad career and i mean even now it's the we're talking about him because it's another breaking bad thing he's back as jesse it has been a tough thing and it has been a tough thing rob traditionally for a lot of these actors who make it big in TV to transition what outside of that thing they first became big and known for. It's it's been like that for decades and decades and decades. And even a guy like Aaron Paul, who is really talented, coming out of one of the most popular television shows of all time. When you look at something like that, Rob, first of all, what stands out to you in the story and what he said? And, and why do you think it is often very difficult for these guys who make it huge in television to then trans- tr- transition not just into movies, but maybe into other television success. Well, I mean, it's it, 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 like you said, it's been going on for a long, long time. I know, like, in my own life, uh, I worked with Eric McCormack, who went on to great right. success in Will and Grace. That man is an incredibly gifted actor. And I thought for sure that he would transition into the big screen. I think he had a role in Holy Man with Eddie Murphy or something. And, and he just never he never cracked out of out of that. And I think in Hollywood, first of all, John, there's a great deal of luck involved. Right. Like 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 Aaron Paul, if you watch The Path, whether you like The Path or not, he was terrific in it. He's a terrific actor. But you know, there I think there's a feel that certain actors when you cast something like you were talking about how when you made the anniversary you got a thousand uh, eight by tens or pictures or submissions for each role. Right. You can look, and I found this too when I'm casting something, you can look at actors and you, they look like they belong on the big screen or they look like they belong on television. Like Meryl Streep was a beautiful woman now and she's a beautiful woman when she was young, but she wasn't a conventional model type California beauty back in the 70s. But she had a very unique look to her that no one looked like Meryl Streep except Meryl Streep. And... 
she belonged on the big screen. There was something, she had an, 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 I don't know what it was, just a quality. And you look at other actors like John Lithgow, not a traditionally mm. handsome guy, but he looked like he belonged on the big screen. You know, he was in World According to Garp. He was in one of my favorite movies, uh, All That Jazz. And, and you see a lot of these actors that later as they get older transition into television. It doesn't seem to happen so much the other way, from TV into movies. Maybe it's because there's some quality, there's some difference between the big screen and the small screen. You know, a lot of actors will have careers in shows, big, big shows, and then they'll move on to different shows. Mm. And yet they don't, you don't see a lot of actors going or actresses going from TV to the big screen. And I think it's a perception issue. Like really with audiences and with casting people. It's a weird, it's a weird phenomena. Do you think with El Camino now coming out, and a lot of people are very excited about El Camino, do you think this could open a second door of opportunity for a guy like Aaron Paul? Or is it just gonna further you know, it, it, it entrench him in the fact that people just see him as Jesse Pinkman? Which way do you think that would I go? I think it's well, I think they're gonna further see him as Jesse Pinkman, but like I was gonna say, it's luck, dude. Mm. I think it's luck. If Need for Speed, I mean that was another video game movie, right? Yeah. If that had hit, suddenly he's an A-list star. I didn't mind Need for Speed, by the I, way. I didn't, I didn't either. And I thought he was actually quite good in it. But nobody went and saw the film. If that movie, if you're there's so much luck involved in Hollywood. There's so much luck. And if you're an actor in a TV show and suddenly you find yourself in a movie that hits big, then you're going to get another movie simply because of the box office and the way things are done. They're like, well, that guy was in a $100 million grossing movie or a $200 million grossing movie or a $500 billion grossing movie. He gets or she gets, she gets another couple more times at bat in features. That's what you get. You're lucky that way. And if it, you parlay that into great success, you could have a career that lasts a long time. You know, you're talking about luck, uh, our own Aaron Cummings. I mean, I think about Aaron a lot because after like Spartacus and Bitch Slam, stuff like that, she got a lot of television roles. And like she did like four or five series right. that lasted one season. Yep. She had Detroit 187, which a lot of people really liked, lasted one series. She had the Playboy Club that lasted like one season. Pan Am with Margot Robbie. Pan Am, the one she did with Margot Robbie. She had the, the Astronaut uh, Astronaut Wives Club and lasted one season. So it's like this struck, streak of bad I mean, you're right. And she and I have talked about that, that a lot of... You know, career stuff is often you got to position yourself, you got to develop your skills, you got to do all the right things, but at some point you got to get lucky. You got to get lucky. Yeah, it, it's it's interesting. So, guys, question is, what do you think about that? Which way do you think Aaron Paul's career can go here? We got El Camino coming out where he's playing Jesse Pinkman again. Could that maybe just entrench the idea that he's only Jesse Pinkman, or do you think it's going to open new doors of opportunities for him? Can he get lucky? What do you guys think about that? Jump into the comment section Man, below. I'm excited. Aren't you excited for El Camino, dude? Oh, dude, I am super excited for El Camino. Me too. Very, very excited for El Camino.